Hey Brett Bags, it's Jay. Today I'm going to give you a quick guide to unlocking all of the different prefabs in LEGO Fortnite. If you don't know, you can get a castle build. This is known as the Manor House set. And you can also get a Shogun or Japanese building set. But there are a few things you need to know. So one, when you place down your village hub or your village square building, if you do that in the grasslands or the shore, it will simply start unlocking the log and the basic shanty shacks. If you want the Pleasant Park build sets, which are pretty much yellow houses, regular kind of modern day ones, then you need to basically keep upgrading your village square and getting your levels up as high as possible. With the ultimate probably being the spacious house that you can unlock once you get enough materials. You also may need to get hold of some of the materials obviously first, like not root, and some of these are gonna be harder to get than others. So stick in the grass biome or the shore biome if you want just the regular modern looking houses. So if you want the Shogun Japanese build sets, then you're gonna need to go to the cold biome, the frosty plains, and pretty much build your village square here. You get six main structures in each biome from the palace star kit all the way to the grand palace. The grand palace does use a lot of frost pine, which you can get from chopping down frost pine trees. And a lot of the buildings, you need a ton of vines as well. For the Pleasant Park stuff, you only generally need wood, granite, and maybe a few pieces of knot root. And then finally, to unlock new castles and pretty much the manor house set, that's what it's called, you do need to go and build in the desert biome. In terms of materials, you will need absolute hundreds and hundreds of granite if you want to build the manor set, as it uses a lot more than the Pleasant Park stuff and the Shogun buildings. And so the order of progression is to go ahead and build your first village in either the shores or grasslands, then go ahead and build another village in the desert, and then the final destination really is building in the snow biome. To max upgrade all of the villages, you will need to get hold of obsidian, and you can only find that inside the caves in the actual desert biome. Now you really might want to go ahead and unlock maybe the Shogun Palaces first, because you really like that set, but you are going to find it difficult if you've not been to a desert, as you are going to need a bunch of flex wood, and you can only get that flex wood in the desert as well from cactuses. And that's to upgrade the village square so you can unlock all the recipes. And of course, your tools, you won't be able to harvest or mine certain resources like obsidian until you've gone and made some of the upgrades needed at the crafting bench. And again, you need flex wood for some of that. So don't try and go to one biome over another. Yes, you can unlock a few things. You will be able to unlock some stuff with just the frost pine and setting up a village in the snow biome. But if you do want to unlock everything, all the build sets from the actual frost biome, the shogun stuff, you are going to need to go and do the desert first. Pretty much all the later levels for your village in the frost biome will require a huge amount of new materials, not just flexwood, but things like malachite ore and a lot more. Most of that can be also found in the snow biome this time, but yeah, you are going to have to explore and it's pretty tough. It is like the hardest area to explore. Of course, it's not just the prefabs that you unlock, you get all the decor that goes along with it, with the themes. So you'll often come across, once you've upgraded fully, golden statues it's when you've built in the snow biome to get all the Shogun stuff. And then when you go to the desert and you're unlocking all the castle stuff, then you will get traditional sort of statues at the very end as well. So you get the idea, it is mostly themed within that build. Once you've unlocked any recipes, they're yours forever. But if you're trying to unlock your village square, if you go ahead and destroy some pieces, it will bring your village level down a little bit and you have to place more pieces or put more buildings down to get it back up. Prefab buildings are a great way to also level up. If you complete it, it does give you a good few levels in the beginner stages. But the best thing to actually place is not fortifications or single base pieces, but actually decor. And again, this is something I'm going to be delving into a bit deeper and absolutely finding the most min-max ways. But yes, certain pieces of decor definitely give you better levels than others. Or it just might be about what you've got to hand. So if you really don't want to spend too long in the desert, you really just want to go and get that Shogun stuff, then you can absolutely spam loads of tables and chairs if you've got loads of wood. And that's a quick way to go ahead and level up your village square. Crafting benches of all the types and having different ones, that's also a good way to make sure that you get fast, quick levels. Not so much singular wall pieces and stuff like that. You can, of course, tear down your village and go and place it somewhere else, but it will start again at level one. You don't necessarily get all the materials back when you go and destroy one, so generally don't. 
You can have as many villages as you want, but if you want your NPCs to also move from village to village, you will have to destroy all of their beds at the first village, and then hopefully encourage them to come to the next one. It might take up to five days, but I do want to do a bit more testing with that and just see if I can get villages filled with NPCs at each location. So there we go, hopefully that's been helpful. Like I said, we've got detail guides coming in, min-maxing, actually village square building, and a lot more. Until next time, Ratbags, make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you later.